It's time for the new Batman adventure to begin. You see, while Batman has been around with a continual storyline for 80 years, every time a writer takes over, he's trying to tell his own Batman story. This is the start of the Chip Zdarsky run, which will tell a Bruce Wayne story for the individuals who don't want to pay attention to what's going on in Dark Crisis and Batman's supposed death. Where this fits into continuity, I have no idea. But here is the new story. Oh, and you have found yourself at Comic Storian. I create audio dramas of your favorite comic books, letting you know what is going on in the world of comic books while leaving out enough to give you something to collect. If you want to start a collection, I recommend one of our sponsors, Shortboxed. It's an app that will help with the beginning of your collection. The link is down below, but let's get into the start of this new Batman adventure, Batman issue 125. Since his return to Gotham, Batman has been on edge. He can hardly sleep without waking up from some nightmare. The problem is he doesn't dream unless he wants to. It's how he can use his subconscious to piece together a mystery of what's to come. Night falls, Batman responds to a hostage situation involving a gunman holding one of Gotham's elite hostage, telling the police to back away or he'll kill them. He swears to God he will. But that's when the lights go out and from the shadows, Batman steps out. Not God. Not even close. Before the gunman can even turn and pull the trigger, a grappling hook is around the man's wrist, and he's thrown out of the window. However, it's already too quiet. Did he already? The gunman dangles from the outside of the apartment building, trying to get back in, but Batman crashes through the window, pulling him back in, and the man screams, I'm sorry! Batman throws him to the ground, telling him, Shut up! You're just a flunky, pulling the trigger for money. Who sent you? This is when the message went out. Penguin's message. He told the people of Gotham that he is like them, hardworking, earning what he has like any other honest American, but the elites? They never worked a hard day in their lives. This is why he's killing anyone in Gotham who has inherited over five million dollars, unless they give that money to the people of the city. It is time for the elites, the ones who sit above them, who destroy the world to pay for what they've done. Batman watches the video over and over again. This is ludicrous. Penguin was born into wealth. He's just twisting the truth. But that's when Tim Drake walks in, telling him that he heard about Colin. He knows that Colin was a friend. Bruce shrugs it off. I suppose so. When I first came back to Gotham, Colin was a wild bachelor. I'd often use him to cement Bruce Wayne's playboy status. And once he married Clara, it was over. Tim then tells him, that's just it. We've all been a little concerned. Ever since you lost your fortune in the Joker War, it feels like you're never Bruce Wayne anymore. Night and day, you're out there as Batman. It's too much, even for you. It's amazing how quickly my social invitations have dried up once my bank account lost a few zeros. It's freed up time to do the job. But even still, I'm qualified enough to be invited to the Flugenheim Gala, which is surely going to be Penguin's next target. Tim looks at the invitation and states that Penguin is murdering the rich. He thinks that they're still going to have the gala, won't they cancel it? Batman takes off his mask. No, it's the hardest part of this job. This city wants to die. Once the sun goes down, the hundreds of people gather around the entrance to the gala just as Batman expected. Batman gets in and tells Tim that with this many people, there's a 98% chance that the Penguin will use gas to kill everyone. Head to the boiler. Investigate it while I keep an eye out on the main hall. After getting his belt, Batman goes back to the party, and just as expected, Penguin welcomes everyone to the gala, even though he's pretty sure none of them deserve to be there. I would also like to welcome you all to your death! Batman asks if everything is all clear, and Tim tells him, yep, injected the boiler with a neutralizing agent, just like you said. Batman quickly puts on his mask, telling Penguin, You're too late. Tim fights his way topside with Batman closing in on Penguin and Penguin yelling that it wasn't supposed to be like this and Batman tells him, This is bold, even for you. Usually you're careful with the sheen of legitimacy. But as Batman grabs the Penguin, he begins to melt in his hands and it's Clayface who is there telling him, You've doomed everyone. Suddenly the entire building begins to rumble and Batman asks, What game is he playing? And Clayface tells him that Penguin didn't want to leave anything to chance. He wants everyone dead. If the gas didn't do it, the building will. Batman tells Tim to start getting everyone out, and then he turns back to Clayface, holding out a small device. I was hoping that I'd run into you again. I've also injected you with a formula that I've been working on. It'll turn your clay into an explosive. Clayface looks at him. You wouldn't. Batman tells him, try me. 
Save these people and tell me where Penguin is, or you'll see how serious I am. Across the room, Tim is getting ready to blow open the doors for everyone to escape. That's when one of the gunmen that he had taken down begins to get up. He points his gun, and suddenly there's the crack of a bullet being fired as Tim is shot through the neck. Batman screams, telling Clayface that he better cover everyone from the falling debris, or you're done! And with that, the whole building explodes as Batman rushes over to grab Tim to bring him to the hospital. The whole time, Batman thinks to himself that he had to do this once before in a different time with a different soldier, with Jason Todd. He couldn't just bring Tim or Jason in. He had to remove the costume and left the authorities to pick them up because of the mission. The mission. The damned mission. A few moments later, inside of the hospital, Batman looms out of the shadows. You've made a lot of bad decisions over the years, but this is the worst. Penguin looks up from his bed, coughing. Took you long enough. How's the brat? It'll take more than your goons to murder one of my men. Why'd you do it? You always skirted the line, but why this? If you can't tell, I'm dying. Mercury poisoning. I can't catch a break, unlike you and the other billionaires. My whole life, I was surrounded by guys like you. Rich, smug. It all came easy to you, but not to me. I earned everything that I built. My empire, the Iceberg Lounge, everything. And they still look down on me. And now, they get to live while I... Penguin begins to cough. <laughs> it's not fair. Life isn't fair, Penguin. He then tells him, You're no man of the people. Unless those people are prisoners, your final delusional days will be behind bars. Penguin laughs. <laughs> I left you for last. Your sirens are here. Your allies, my enemies, the Gotham police. You're on the list. Unlike the rest, I could never kill you. But I can end you. Penguin presses the nurse's button as he takes a pill, and within seconds, the cyanide takes effect, choking the penguin. Batman tries to stop him, but as he tries to stop the penguin from swallowing, the nurse comes running into the room. She doesn't see Batman trying to help the penguin. She sees Batman murdering the penguin. Later, Barbara calls, waking Batman from his nap, asking how is he holding up. You know, with the whole... Batman stops her. What, the Batman is a murderer talk? I'm fine. Penguin grossly overestimated the damage that he could cause. If anything, it's helped me. Criminals are more scared now. Crime is down. Barbara tells him maybe, but he hasn't visited Tim in the hospital yet. He ignores her. Something is wrong. Is it itching my brain? A mystery just trying to reach out. I'm... I'm lost. Meanwhile, over in the Batcave, there's a quiet beep that begins to get louder and louder. The computer voice says, Complete Activate and suddenly a large tube bursts out of the ground. It begins to open and a robot steps out, and the computer says, Online. Failsafe online. And that is the beginning of Chip Zdarsky's Batman. Now, I didn't really want to wait to tell you guys this story because I love what Chip Zdarsky did with Daredevil, so of course I had to bring you his Batman run. If you guys enjoy this and think it's a great start for a new series, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what your favorite Batman story has been in the recent years because they've all changed around, as you know. Anyway, this is Comic Story, and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to join us on Patreon, and I'll see you next time, right here.